the previously what we have seen in criterion C is actually uh, the event which is associated with these symptoms. Now the care in criterion C is presumed to be responsible for disturbed behavior in criterion A. Uh, for example, the disturbance in criterion A begin following the lack of adequate care in criterion C. So criterion C ke andar jo humne dekha ke caregiver ki either care nahi proper de raha, number two caregiver jo hain wo bahut jaldi badal rahe hain aur C uski institutions mein parvarish hui hai jahan pe opportunities usko us tarah ki available nahi ki gayi uh, caregiving ki jo hoti hain. So in ye tino are actually the reason uh, or they are the one which, which you are going to attribute the symptoms in the child which we have already discussed in criteria A. Um, now, is may criteria, uh, criteria are not met for autism spectrum disorder. Now, if you look at this, we talked about neurodevelopmental disorder in autism. Ke upar baat ki thi. Aur autistic children have features that they are socially withdrawn, hote hai, emotionally um, jo hai, wo itne responsive. responsive but this is very important that they rule out that these are not autism ke features. If a child is बगैर इन केयर गिविंग के मसाइल नहीं है उसके बावजूद अगर वो उसके बगैर शो कर रहा है तो इसका मतलब है कि आपको ऑटिस्टिक डिसऑर्डर के जो फीचर्स हैं इसमें कॉमन हैं इसके साथ तो वो आपको रूल आउट करने पड़ेंगे एंड डिस्टरबेंस इज एविडेंट बिफोर एज ऑफ 5 इयर्स सो ये एक ऐसी एज होती है जिसमें बच्चे को बहुत ज्यादा केयर गिवर की जरूरत होती है उसकी जो बेसिक नीड्स हैं उसको फुलफिल करने के लिए दिस इज कन्वेंशनली और जनरली स्पीकिंग प्री स्कूल एज जहां पे बच्चा ज्यादातर टाइम जो है अपने मां-बाप के साथ गुजारता है या अपने केयर गिवर के साथ गुजारता है सो दिस वी हैव टू सी के डिस्टरबेंस जो है वो 5 साल से बाद होगी तो आप उसको रिएक्टिव अटैचमेंट डिसऑर्डर डायग्नोस करेंगे देन यू नीड टू स्पेसिफाई दैट इज इट परसिस्टेंट uh, persistent main ke disorder has been present for more than 12, 12 months. Uh, agar 12 months tak hai, continuity mein chal raha hai, to aapko wo likhna padega, ya aapko usne, usse uh, highlight karna padega, ki you have to, this is kind of a specifier, ke bache ko, it's quite possible ke 2 mahine se ho, 3 mahine se ho, 4 mahine se ho, lekin ye ke wo persistently agar 1 saal tak ja raha hai, ya usse beyond ja raha hai, to ye aapko um, specifier mein aega. Then also you have to specify, Severity um, of the disorder. Uh, severity, it may be uh, both mild level pe hai, moderate pe hai, severe hai. So, jo har uh, symptom ki, jo ki bacha behavior jo show kar raha hai, matlab emotional aloofness hai, socially withdrawn hai, uh, reciprocate nahi kar raha emotions ko, sadness hai usme, um, he is feeling low. Uh, so, ye sari jo aapki symptom jo humne abhi discuss ki hai, Un saron ki severity has to be specified. So specify as severe when a child exhibits all symptoms of the disorder with each symptom manifesting at relatively high levels. Ke agar high level hai to high level aap likhenge, agar low level hai to low level likhenge, lekin ye aapko uski severity jo hai usko um, identify karne ki zhurta hai. To abhi humne reactive attachment disorder ki upar baat ki. Reactive uh, attachment disorders basically are um, limited to the child before the age of five. Or because this is a age hoti hai, jiske andar bache ko caregivers ki bahut zarurat hoti hai. Or agar usko caregiving needs uski puri nahi hui, uske caregiver ne uski social, emotional, uh, psychological, and even physical uh, nurturance jo hai uski nahi hui, to uske andar ye symptoms dekhne ko aati hai. Uh, और ये symptoms जो हैं इसके अंदर ज़्यादा आपको लगेगा कि the child is not reciprocating, uh, child is not looking for um, the support which one would अगर कोई distress होता है तो आप देखते हैं कि बच्चे घर से बाहर से कोई stress अगर मिलता है उन्हें तो आके माँ के साथ share करते हैं या अपने किसी closer one के साथ करते हैं लेकिन ये बच्चे जो हैं वो support नहीं सीख कर रहे होते uh, wo emotional reciprocity nahi kar pa rahe hote agar unko aap support dene ki koshish bhi karo unko sath lagao to wo ek tarah ka unke liye aise lag raha hota hai ki unki ye need nahi hai aapko inhe autistic bachon ke sath uh, matlab dekhna hai autistic features ko rule out karna hai aur aapne ye bhi dekhna hai ki severity of the disorder kis kis sath tak hai mild hai moderate hai severe hai aur jitne bhi wo features indicate kar raha hai unke bhi specifiers important hai कि आप उनको specify करें uh, that, that's it with reactive uh, attachment disorder and next we will look at the other disorders